I recall being uh, just down the road a couple of years ago when you were yeah. talking about the bill in the House yes. for funding. You're continuing those efforts right mm -hmm. now in D.C. Mm -hmm. How likely does it look that uh, you'll be able to move something forward to help get money for schools in communities like Las Vegas and UNLV Med? Well, I can tell you that I'm on the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, and I'm really pleased to see that Senator Murray and Alexander have such a tremendous relationship, and the kinds of hearings that we've been having so far have been thoughtful and informative and educational, and I think that uh, we're going to see things move forward from that. We have a doctor on the committee. We have, um, my husband's a physician, lots of people who are in physician families or have families who understand the need for chronic care or special needs or uh, we talked about uh, senior citizens, Alzheimer's, those kinds of memory care. It impacts all of us, and so I think we're going to see some good things move through now. How crucial is it to really retain and kind of get that homegrown talent and keep them here? We know UNLV has put a focus on recruiting students who have strong ties to the community or that live here in general. Uh, is that a model that, that looks like it will be successful? Well, I think it's about the people pipeline. So we want to create um, a robust medical community here. So when we take uh, young adults who want to, who go to school here, they train here, they've already grown up here. Their parents are here, uh, so their parents want their grandkids here, that's for sure. But what happens is that they invest in their community. They're already invested, they invest more. And then it also uh, creates that people pipeline, those robust jobs that are supportive of our physicians um, in their offices and in the hospitals. And so I think it's just another avenue for uh, young folks or people who want retraining to work in good uh, fields that are caring, that you make a difference, and I think it's really, really important, and I want to do everything I can to promote that, uh, not just in the medical community, in our labor, in our education. All those things make a difference when people stay here and invest. It elevates us all. I think finally, uh, the university is working very hard to help establish more residencies and fellowships, especially in the specialties. That's somewhere where yeah. Nevada lacks, Las yeah. Vegas lacks. Uh, the work that you're doing in Congress, mm -hmm. those bills, will that help uh, specifically address uh, uh, many of the specialties that we just don't have here in Southern Nevada or don't have a lot of? Well, the two bills, the first one, the Resident Physician Shortage Act, is going to increase uh, medical school residencies across the country by about 15,000 for underserved areas and new medical schools, which we have both. The next one that we're on is called the Conrad uh, State 30 Act, and what it is is that each state would get uh, used to get 30 international medical school graduates uh, to come into their state and work in the specialty fields that are underserved or in underserved communities in general. We're going to increase that to 35, and if we use all those slots, you can also increase that incrementally. So what that's going to do is going to help fill the gap for specialties. Hopefully people will stay. And then also in our underserved communities in rural Nevada or just um, even Mesquite or Laughlin, just some places a little bit harder to get to even from the central Las Vegas area. So those two things, I hope that they get good traction and uh, they're going to get through and they help everyone.